Why did the minimalist go to the garage sale to make sure they weren't missing anything? Ah, the irony. A minimalist. Someone who prides themselves on owning less, scouring a garage sale, the epitome of excess. But let's face it, we've all been there. That moment when you take a look around your home and realize, wow, I have way too much stuff. We all love our possessions. Those little trinkets that remind us of our travels. The books we swear we'll read someday. The knickknacks that somehow find their way into our living spaces. But when does it all become too much? When does our love for things turn our homes into a chaotic, cluttered mess? That's what we're here to discuss today. We're going to explore the top 10 things that make your home look cluttered. And who knows, you might just find yourself inspired to declutter and reclaim your space. So, let's dive into the 10 things that make your home look cluttered. Welcome to Smart Life Solutions. If you're new to our channel, we're thrilled to have you here. We're all about finding practical, smart solutions to everyday challenges, and today, we're tackling the big one, clutter. Our homes should be our havens, places where we can relax and recharge, but too often they become dumping grounds for all the stuff we accumulate. Our mission? To help you reclaim and enjoy your space again. So if you're ready to start that journey, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. We promise it will be worth it. Now let's move on to the first major clutter culprit, the overflowing closet. Ever opened your closet and had a mini avalanche? That's clutter signal number one. We've all been there faced with the daunting task of navigating through the maze of clothes, shoes and accessories that seem to multiply when we're not looking. It's like a game of Tetris that never ends. Overflowing closets aren't just frustrating, they're a sign of clutter taking over your home. But don't worry, there's a solution. An organized closet isn't just aesthetically pleasing, it simplifies your life. Imagine the ease of finding that perfect outfit for a night out, or those running shoes for a morning jog without having to wrestle with hangers or dig through piles of clothes. A neat closet also makes your room look tidier. It's like magic, but real. And who doesn't want a little bit of real-life magic? So next time you're playing Jenga with your clothes, remember, your closet is for clothes, not for hide-and-seek with your accessories. If your kitchen counter has more appliances than a department store, we have a problem. The kitchen counter, that precious real estate in our homes, is often the victim of clutter. A blender here, a coffee maker there, and before you know it, there's barely enough space to chop an onion. So, how do we combat this? Start by organizing your appliances. Prioritize what you use daily and what can be tucked away. The coffee maker? Probably a daily necessity. That ice cream maker you got as a wedding gift but have used twice? Time to find it a new home. But why is this so important? A clear counter not only looks more appealing but it also boosts your productivity. It's easier to whip up a gourmet meal when you're not navigating around a sea of appliances. Remember, your kitchen counter is prime real estate, treated as such. A clean counter is a chef's best friend. If you're living in a paper jungle, it's time for a cleanup. We've all been there. Bills, receipts, old newspapers, paper clutter can quickly turn your home into a forest of frustration. Now let's get to the root of it. Are you holding onto piles of paper because you think you might need them someday? Well, we live in a digital age, my friends. Most of the information we need is available at our fingertips on the internet. So why not go digital? Scan important documents, save online receipts, subscribe to digital newspapers. And for the unavoidable physical papers, regular sorting and filing is key. Set aside a routine time each week to sort through your papers, file the necessary ones, and recycle the rest. Remember, every piece of paper you hold onto is a leaf on your clutter tree. Tame the paper beast and your home will breathe easier. If your living room looks like a souvenir shop, you might be a clutter culprit. You know, it's easy to accumulate a teetering tower of trinkets from every trip you've ever taken. But let's be honest, does that miniature Eiffel Tower really need to be on your mantle? Having souvenirs can be a lovely way to remember the places you've visited and the experiences you've had. But when your house starts to feel like a crowded museum, it's time to reassess. Not every memento needs to be on display around the clock. Selective display and storage is key. Consider rotating your souvenirs, so only a few are out at a time. Store the rest away and bring them out when you want to reminisce about that specific trip. This way, each item gets its moment to shine and your space doesn't feel overwhelmed. Remember, your home is a place for living, not just for showcasing your travels. Showcase your memories, don't crowd them. If you have more remote controls than television channels, it's time to consolidate. Picture this, a sea of cords tangling into a spaghetti-like mess, remote controls that seem to multiply like rabbits, and gadgets that haven't been used since the last solar eclipse. This, dear friends, is the realm of unruly electronics. Let's untangle this mess together, shall we? 
Start by identifying the culprits. Yes, that ancient digital camera counts. Now it's time for a little game of keep, toss, or donate. Be ruthless. If it hasn't been used in over a year, it's time to say goodbye. Managing cords is another beast altogether. Consider cord organizers or cable management boxes. They're like magic for turning a jungle of wires into a neat and tidy space. As for those multiplying remotes, consider a universal remote. It's a one-stop solution for controlling all your devices. Remember, technology should simplify your life, not complicate it. So let's make peace with our electronics, shall we? If your bookshelf is buckling under the weight of unread books, it's time to rethink. A bookshelf is more than just a storehouse for your literary collection, it's a showcase of your intellectual journey. But when books start to pile up, the charm of the bookshelf is lost in a sea of clutter. Having too many books, especially those that remain unread for years, can actually create stress. You're constantly reminded of the knowledge you haven't yet absorbed, and the stories you haven't yet discovered. Donating books can be a great solution to this problem. It not only frees up space but also gives someone else the chance to enjoy a good read. Plus, it's an act of generosity that can bring a sense of fulfillment. Creating a curated collection of books that truly resonate with you can transform your bookshelf from a source of stress to a source of inspiration. Remember, a bookshelf should inspire, not intimidate. If your bathroom looks like a cosmetics counter, it's time to declutter. Yes, we're talking about the bathroom bottleneck, where toothpaste tubes jostle for space with makeup kits, and your favorite cologne is lost in a sea of lotions and potions. It's time to take a hard look at what you actually use daily. Do you really need five different types of moisturizer? Is that half-empty bottle of shampoo from two years ago still serving a purpose? The first step to decluttering is ruthless elimination. Keep what serves you and bid adieu to the rest. Next, consider storage solutions. Drawer dividers can be your best friends and wall-mounted organizers are a godsend for small bathrooms. Remember, every item needs a home. It's not about having less, but making room for what truly matters. It's time to transform your bathroom from a cluttered mess into a serene retreat. A clean bathroom is a spa-like retreat. If your entrance is a drop zone for everything, it's time to reorganize. Now let's dive into the enigma that is the entrance. It's the first thing you see when you step into your home, but it's also often the most cluttered. You know, shoes strewn about, coats draped over chairs, mail scattered on the side table. The solution? Well, it's surprisingly simple and stylish. Use hooks, shelves, and storage boxes. Hooks are perfect for hanging things like coats, hats, and scarves. Shelves can hold items like keys, wallets, and even decorative pieces to add some personality. Storage boxes are ideal for stashing away items that don't need to be on display but still need a home. By organizing your entrance you create a welcoming space that greets you with calmness, instead of chaos. So, let's treat our entrances with the respect they deserve, not as a dump site but as the gateway to our peaceful abode. Your entrance should welcome you, not overwhelm you. If your corners are collecting dust and clutter, it's time to clean up. You see, the corners of our homes often become the unintentional storage units for items we're unsure of where to place. From exercise equipment to forgotten decor, corners can quickly become cluttered, making your home feel less like a sanctuary and more like a storage unit. But what if we told you that these forgotten corners could be your home's biggest hidden gems? Regular cleaning and thoughtful decor can transform these spaces from cluttered chaos to chic nooks. Imagine a cozy reading corner or a mini indoor garden, a space that adds value and beauty to your home. Remember, clutter is not just about aesthetics, it's about creating a space that feels good to be in. So grab that duster and get to work. Clear out the clutter, bring in the light, and let your corners shine. Because every corner of your home deserves to shine. So there you have it, the top 10 clutter culprits in your home. We've journeyed through the chaos of clutter from overflowing closets to kitchen counter catastrophes, We've navigated the treacherous terrain of paper piles and unwanted souvenirs, tackled the unruly electronics, and wrangled the overflowing bookshelves. We've cleared the bathroom bottleneck, solved the entrance enigma, and brought light to the forgotten corners. It's been quite the adventure, hasn't it? But remember, it's not just about creating a home that's visually pleasing. It's about creating a space that allows your mind to breathe, to think clearly. A clutter-free home isn't only a feast for the eyes, it's a sanctuary for the mind. So let's bid adieu to clutter and hello to a more organized, serene living space. Let's embrace a mindset that values quality over quantity, peace over chaos. Remember, 
A clutter-free home is not only visually pleasing but also mentally freeing. Happy decluttering. Feeling inspired? If our journey through the cluttered chaos has sparked a desire in you to declutter and organize your life, consider subscribing to our channel, Smart Life Solutions. We're more than just a YouTube channel. We're a community of people committed to smart solutions for everyday challenges. By subscribing you'll be the first to receive our regular updates on everything from home organization to time management and beyond. But that's not all. You'll also be joining a community of like-minded individuals, all on a journey to simplify their lives just like you. So, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button and join us at Smart Life Solutions. Let's declutter life together.